Once again, welcome to this wonderful occasion. It is indeed an occasion set aside for the commissioning of the French Center, Resource Center. You will believe with me that on the 6th of December 2021, talking about last year, the French Embassy did organize a workshop for the training of French lecturers in the northern zone of the country. And in the course of the presentation of the representative of the French Embassy, he did uh, make a promise that he will surprise us. And I believe in collaboration with this uh, prestigious institution, uh, we were able to achieve this uh, goal. And that is the rationale behind our gathering here today. It is indeed the first of its kind in the history of the Department of French, the first of its kind in the history of the Faculty of Art, and the first of its kind at large. Ladies and gentlemen, I think the HOD of the Department of French, the Dean Faculty of Art, and of course, our amiable and impeccable PC deserve a sound round of applause. Thank you very much. We now take the because of time constraint, we shall skip. Je promets au Nigeria un pays d'être fidèle, loyal et royaliste. We give glory to God that today we are here to officially commission the French Resort Room. It's important to put certain things into historical context. My Vice Chancellor, sir, the relationship between the department of French language and the embassy did not start today. It's a relationship that, is this, that has a history that can be traced to 2015. Under the leadership of Professor Victor Duga, he's not here, he says he's going to come late. We try to establish a relationship with the French embassy. As a matter of fact, the French embassy approached us that relationship materialized and some memorandum of understanding was entered into in the areas of collaboration. What you are commissioning today is the product of this very effective and productive relationship with the French Embassy. The relationship has been nurtured over the years by people, individuals, who kept this relationship up to this point when the French Embassy deemed the fit to give us some resources. I am saying this so that we understand that as we try to develop our institutional memories, it is important that we note certain milestones, because milestones are what make institutions and their history. Your arrival as the Vice Chancellor of this university, my Vice Chancellor, sir, is like a blessing to the institution, a blessing to the Faculty of Arts, but more importantly, a blessing to all the departments, particularly with respect to what we are celebrating today, a blessing to the Department of French Language. We have visited this faculty more than any other faculty in the university, unless my records are wrong. That is because the faculty has positioned itself to key into what you are doing. Your leadership has been catalytic in the progressive transformation of this university. We want to encourage you as a faculty to continue to do the good things that you are doing because you believe in excellence. What we are here doing today is the promotion of excellence 
in the interest of the university. On that note, I want to welcome all of us and to thank you for your time and the ideas that you have given us in the local space. Thank you very much. Number six, we now call on. And uh, this center is going to be used for the training of uh, university lecturers in Northern Nigeria. And uh, after the commission of this center, we intend to organize French lessons for the university community. And with time, if we are able to get a bigger space, we may extend it to the larger community because people have been coming here to ask. Director of Linkages and Advancement, Professor Abisha. Thank you very much. Sir. My and Adelable HOD, Professor Adima Idris Amadi, uh, the Chairman, Committee of Deans and Directors, Professor Justin Ode, the Head of Department of French, Associate Professor Mercy of uh, the man who is representing the French Embassy. Uh, the French Embassy, it is expected that it should be done in the French language. Therefore, Mesdames et Messieurs, je vais retourner cette occasion pour appeler le représentatif de l'ambassade. Applaudissez, Monsieur le Président. The librarian, the dean, faculty of arts and other things. The French embassy has mandated me to come and tell you that they also appreciate and thank you for your patience to making sure that you have equipment from them. It is a plus on their side too. When you give gifts, you find joy in your heart. And so they said they have joy in their hearts for being a partaker to moving this university to greater heights with what they have donated. And they also mandated me to say this clearly that the equipment or the center that uh, is uh, 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 going to be inaugurated should be used strictly by the French students and their lecturers. You know, French government is very jealous about their things. And so they want the center to be used strictly, please, strictly by the French department. When I say the French department, that means the lecturers and the students alike. So I pray, Mr. B.C. and other one also the lecturers and students to use this opportunity of the center to develop in all sphere of life concerning the French learning and teaching. You have the center. The department itself, sir is one of our most vibrant departments in the Faculty of Arts. It is a department that organizes inter-university competitions. I've done that in several times. And they have been performing very well. Uh, the French representative said that the equipment should only be used by staff and students of French. No, sir. This department organizes training for anyone who wants to study French. Some of us have done remedial French. <laughs> we have tried it, and um, we are still trying. <laughs> but at least we can say bonjour, we can say bon anniversaire. We have not gone far, but that opportunity has always been open to staff of the university, all staff of the university. Oh. First of all, start by thanking the embassy for the love and cognition you have for this university. Because if you don't have the love for this university at heart, 
you will not even remember to this extent of bringing the equipment to establish the center. And we want to thank you very much for these efforts, for your resources that you have extended to us to enable us also to develop the university for that. Because this is not just going to limit the development to French alone. It is going to affect the entire university. And as you rightly said, yes, the center should be used for only the French uh, students and the lecturers. Yes, it's going to be, it's going to be like that. And for whoever has developed interest to uh, study French, that person will automatically become French students. Yeah. <laughs> so, I will see a day when myself and Professor Duga will be in one class. <laughs> so, we don't want French students. So, uh, your directive is still being obeyed. So, I want to thank you very much for this. And I want to promise that the university will make effective use of this uh, source center. We will want one day for you to even come and assess the performance of the university based on the center that we are giving us. And we are going to surprise you that what you are not even expecting will go beyond that. My God, please. This center is going to be used to train a lot of people, a lot. And I think at the end, will be able to show you that we are utilizing this and that will mean to encourage you to support us the more. But I want to advise that the faculty and the department should make arrangements to see that we have a, a kind of maintenance scheme in place so that we can be running this center at least for long without having any problem. I want to continue by commending the faculty of uh, arts for attracting this resource center to the faculty. And this is a sign that the faculty is ready to promote their own image and that of the university. And advice that other faculties should look at similar things that they can also do in their own faculty so that one day we we'll gather like this to also commission something that is coming from their own efforts. I want to commend also the French department at least for maintaining good relationship with the embassy. Because it's one thing for you to establish a relationship and it's another thing for you to maintain it. So you two are doing well to maintain that good relationship. And I think we need to do more so that the French Embassy will be more encouraged to do more things for us. The Directorate of Linkage and Advancements, I want to also thank you people at least for making the relationship becoming more stronger. Because with your own input, it has shown the embassy that this institution is serious, particularly with the linkage uh, activity. And I think you will need to sensitize other faculty by using this as an example so that they can also uh, synergize with your directorate and to do more in bringing resource uh, center. We want to see a situation where virtually every faculty will go will see many resource centers being established. The entire university, I need to mention at this point, that this achievement is not only for French department, 
and it's not only for Faculty of Art alone, you know, it's for the entire Federal University of Latvia. And because of that, I want to use the opportunity to also say congratulations to the entire Latvia community. <laughs> Your faculty is responding to the core values of this university. <laughs> Anywhere I go, I always emphasize the core values of this university integrity, innovation, and excellence. So, in any faculty where I see that, I always go there. So, even if it means moving my entire office to this place, if it's possible, I'll do it. The faculty is doing what really I like. So, I want to also congratulate you for being the first to be responding to the entire core values of the world. <laughs> now, what we are doing today is a result of the sub mobilization. And I know in my blueprints, I mentioned this, that the sub mobilization is a key, is one of the key activities of this university. And because of that, we constituted the sub mobilization committee we established in some mobilization units just because we want to have all this kind of activity to be coming on. And there are a lot of strategies and uh, problems. Well, I think uh, on these notes, I would like to also say, uh, let's see you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. We were, we produced the best student in the Badabi last year. The first time he was there, the HOD was here. He said at first he wasn't sure, but we gave them such a surprise. We beat their students. Wow. <laughs> are in uh, the uh, Republic right now, we are getting reports that we are doing well. And when looking at the uh, faculty results so far. We have not done too bad. <laughs> Indicating that you have commissioned this building. And I guess this will be the first such project and many more will come. Thank you, sir. Again, it's a very important thing to all of us in the Federal University of Latvia. Uh, particularly the Department of Arts and the Department of French. Uh, today we are commissioning a very important center here, a resource center. Uh, it's equipment donated by the French Embassy. And I want to use this opportunity as the Vice Chancellor of the Federal University of Latvia uh, to commission this uh, resource center, French resource center, the Department of Arts.
After the class work, students can come and watch programs to be ready to polish their friends. And, uh,